Today, mops, brooms, and fans overtook the streets of Gulfport as that coastal community worked to clean up from the heavy rain, wind, and water. Ada's fury slamming multiple boats onto shore. As you can see, Ada on your side's Christine McClarty joins us live from Gulfport tonight. Christine. This is one of six boats that slammed along shore. Now, this is a handrail along a walking path, and you can see the boat's strings and wires right here. And there's a lot else to show you here. We got some caution tape surrounding the area because they don't want anybody to get hurt. And then just a few feet away over on Beach Boulevard, we have businesses also badly impacted. We spoke with one woman who came to witness the storm's fury. The waves were coming up, I could see boats. And I told my friend, I said, you know what, I see boats coming up. And he said, Cheryl, go home. <laughs> go home. Cheryl Hawkins lives in Gulfport and says a terrifying Wednesday night turned into a positive Thursday morning. We're just glad that it's not, no one is hurt. Everybody's in good nature. Everybody's just happy. A story of helping others, encompassing many business owners like Paw Paw's Pet Boutique. Helping us mop, vacuuming, squeezing out water. A similar story for many in the boating community who had their boats run ashore. I've talked to a few of the other owners. Um, they were out all night trying to rescue other liveaboards and other people that you know are anchored out here or moored out here. Now you can see this is the fence of that walkway just completely destroyed by this boat. We just recently, a few minutes ago, spoke with the folks who were coming to help take this boat away. They say it's especially hard because of the way the mast is leaning over over the sidewalk. They say they think they're going to have to get a crane in here to take it away, and that could be at least a day or two. We'll keep you posted with more. Reporting live in Gulfport, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.